got those charges brought to now, t take a good look at this video. There was some controversy about this white cup. See, Howard Stern sitting there drinking from that white cup yesterday. He walks away with no cup in his hand. Then Larry Burkhead, his rival in the paternity of Anna Nicole Smith's daughter, sits down. He then pours himself water in two white styrofoam cups. The next time we see him on camera, he's got one cup. Then Burkhead walks away. And now look closely into the center background of the screen, the blonde-haired woman. That is Krista Barth, the attorney for Howard K. Stern, apparently grabbing the white cup and then walking away. There was this mention in the, this morning by the attorney, Ms. Opry, for Burkhead, suggesting that the attorneys for Howard K. Stern were trying to get, or at the, they're trying to get his cup to get a DNA sample going on here that perhaps Burkhead was trying to get Stern's cup to get a saliva sample on his cup. The attorney for, for Burkhead this morning saying, hey, what's going on here? Because at the end, the cup ended up with Stern's attorney. Once again, it was just an example of all of this conspiracy theory. Every side, all three sides trying to outdo each other here from the attorney perspective. The implication that maybe you could steal the saliva for the paternity test from Stern irrelevant really in the big picture because Burkhead needs the DNA of the baby as well as DNA from Anna Nicole Smith as well as his own. He's trying to prove he's the father. So I'd say that was much ado about nothing but just gives you a little little idea as to the tone and the high tension that is going on inside that courtroom. Jane. And Phil, we'll get a better idea when that uh, hearing resumes in about 25 minutes or so. Phil Keating for us outside of the courtroom in Fort Lauderdale. And speaking of the baby, a hearing in the Bahamas, a preliminary hearing. It is set to start at this hour dealing with the custody of the little baby girl, Anna Nicole's baby girl. Todd Connor is in Nassau. And Todd, this ought to be a little bit different because this hearing is uh, closed, it's all sealed, and the lawyers are gagged as I understand it, right? Jane, this will be much different, I can tell you, absolutely. There will be no cameras in the courtroom. In fact, no media will be allowed in the courtroom. And up until now, the attorneys really aren't saying much about this at all. Um, all of the major players will be represented here. They just won't be here because, of course, they are still in Florida. We've started to see uh, some of the attorneys walk in. We thought it was going to start at 2, probably more like 2.30 now. But I've seen attorneys for Virgie Arthur as well as the Anna Nicole Estate have arrived already to begin this custody hearing. It's all about the future of five-month-old Danny Lynn. Primarily, one of the things that we'll be talking about is an injunction issued last week that required Danny Lynn to remain in the Bahamas for the time being. We're not sure how long that injunction was good for, but no doubt that will be argued today. And uh, you can bet that attorneys for Howard K. Stern will be arguing against it. This uh, most likely the first chance they would have had to do that so we expect that to be going on behind closed doors inside. Also, uh, it is a custody hearing. Attorneys for Virgie Arthur have told me that they will be asking for temporary custody of Danny Lynn. And at the very least, they say they want custody of her given to the state until a long-term solution can be decided uh, in a Bahamian court or some other courts. Uh, we're not sure how far they'll go into the DNA or paternity testing. Uh, although he did hear uh, Larry Burkhead's attorney earlier today in the Florida courtroom saying that the judge there should have a lab sent here and conduct a DNA test under his own guidance. Um, that could happen, but uh, so far has not. So uh, that's what's expected to happen here this afternoon. Not sure how long this hearing will be, but we'll let you know as soon as we hear anything out of it. Jane? Todd Connor for us in Nassau. Todd, thanks very much. Well, reports that Britney Spears is back, yes, back in a rehab facility today. And Kevin Federline, her former husband, will not be headlining in an L.A. courtroom as was expected. A scheduled emergency custody hearing has been called off. Reports say that K-Fed, as he's known, and Britney have agreed that he will take care of their two kids while she attends this rehab program for the next 30 to 45 days. The entertainment website TMZ.com is reporting that Spears is headed back to rehab for what will be the third time in about a week. And Britney's father told our own Lisa Bernhardt a little bit earlier today, quote, we've got a sick little girl, we are just trying to take care of her, end quote. He adds that his daughter's problems are not about what other people think. More on that to come. Well, court action in the murdered minister case. Lawyers for Mary Winkler are looking to suppress material seized by police from her home in Tennessee. The defense is claiming those items were taken without, without a search warrant. Lawyers also want to exclude some statements that Winkler made to police shortly after she was arrested for shooting her husband last March. Well, after a 20-year fight, the University of Illinois' mascot has done, this was it, the last dance. The university is dumping Chief Illini Weck. 
because of Native American groups who call the character offensive and because of NAAC, excuse me, NCAA policy. Many are angry with the decision. Take a listen. The tradition of Chief Alinawek is about honor. It's about, uh, about loyalty. It's about pride. It's about strength. Those who support Chief Alinawek should demonstrate those values. Reporters say the chief is off the court, off the field, but not gone from the university and the fans. It means a lot to be here to see his last performance. It's hard <laughs> to watch him. If anything, the anti-chief people have turned him into a martyr. He's never going to die. Well, one group that's happy about the move, activists, who say the chief mascot is racist and insulting. All I can tell you is this. Every single national Native American organization is against mascots, period. There has actually never been a tribe that I know of that has ever formally endorsed Chief Alina Wick in any way. A little later on in the hour, we're going to take a look at this controversy and what it could mean with other schools with Native American mascots. Well, international news for you now. The latest on the nuclear showdown with Iran. A United Nations report released today says the defiant nation has ignored the deadline to pull the plug on its nuclear program. This all as Iran's top nuclear official says his country will not be backing down. James Rosen is live in D.C. with the latest. Jan James? Jane, good afternoon. The U.N.'s top nuclear inspector reported to the U.N. Security Council today that Iran is still enriching uranium and still denying his teams access to critical sites, documents and personnel. Dr. Mohammed El Baradeh, Director General of the International Atomic Energy Agency, or IAEA, found Iran is presently operating two so-called cascades. A cascade is a set of 164 centrifuges spinning in high speed synchronicity with each other to enrich uranium. El Baradeh says, moreover, Iran told him last month that 18 cascades, almost 3,000 centrifuges, should be in operation by May of this year. Moreover, the report said Iran last month declined the agency's request to place video cameras at two of Iran's primary enrichment sites. The Iranians demanded a legal basis for that request and examples of such cameras being placed at similarly sensitive sites in other countries. The IAEA responded on February the 9th but Iran has not responded in turn. The report also says Iran has refused to provide access to its physics research center or to key documents and personnel associated with that site. As well, Iran continues to ignore the IAEA's requests for more information about the state of Iran's research on advanced P2 centrifuges or about its murky green salt project, which is thought to have a military dimension. Quoting from the report now, given the existence in Iran of activities undeclared to the agency for 20 years, it it is necessary for Iran to enable the agency through maximum cooperation and transparency to fully reconstruct the history of Iran's nuclear program. Without such cooperation and transparency, the report said, the agency will not be able to, to provide assurances about the absence of undeclared nuclear material and activities in Iran or about the exclusively peaceful nature of that program." End quote. The White House says President Bush will discuss the IAEA report in detail with Secretary of State Rice over breakfast tomorrow morning. A State Department spokesman today called the report, quote, very disturbing. Jane? James Rosen for us in D.C. James, thank you. Well, it is starting early. The 08 race for the White House? Well, that and the nasty jabs, it seems. Does Barack Obama owe an apology for what one of his supporters said? Iraqi insurgents are turning to a frightening new tactic, packing their explosives with dangerous chemicals. Coming up, what American troops found when they raided what they're calling a huge bomb factory. And today's hearing in the Anna Nicole Smith case is expected to start very soon. It was pretty interesting this morning, to put it mildly. Live coverage coming up. Need cash? Borrow up to 125% of your home's value with a fixed rate freedom loan from Ditech. With Ditech, you can feel confident that you're being taken care of every step of the way. Call Ditech now, 1-800-71-FIXED. Binder & Binder is America's most successful social security disability advocates. We'll deal with the government. You have enough to worry about. So if you're disabled, call 1-800-66-BINDER. Attention Medicare diabetics. Are you tired of finger pain? Does your current pharmacy provide you options? Is the Medicare paperwork confusing? Diabetic Experts of America understands. Call now at 1-800-840-3987. We offer brands that require less blood and provide the option to test at sites other than your fingers and never run out again. Call 1-800-840-3987. Our diabetic consultants are standing by to talk to you. The beaches, the 
Florida's friendliest hometown. Golf free for the rest of your life on all of our executive courses. And enjoy free lifetime membership in all eight of our country clubs, including the Arnold Palmer and Nancy Lopez Signature Courses. Enjoy the best active years of your life in the Villages. Log on to thevillages.com and order your free lifestyle video tour of the Villages today. As a food lover, I get inspired by foods that just taste better. Like these Eggland's Best Eggs. They cook up perfectly and always taste fresh, flavorful, and delicious. As a nutritionist, I'm impressed that Eggland's Best have 10 times more vitamin E and 25% less saturated fat than ordinary eggs. In fact, EBs are the only eggs I give my husband, the chef. Eggland's Best, a perfect marriage of taste and nutrition. Imagine a first kiss that has the passion of a lifetime behind it. The first kiss was so yeah. good, and they're still good. <laughs> That's really the key, isn't it? To be matched so well that it just gets better with time. eHarmony.com. Log on today. I am much safer if you know little about me. Top critics have seen Breach, and the response is unanimous. Breach is electrifying, inspired by the true story of the greatest security breach in U.S. history. Breach, rated PG-13, now playing. Running a successful business isn't easy. There are hidden expenses and unseen obstacles. If you're unprepared, one move can put everything at risk. Incorporating your business with Biz Filings can reduce the personal risk of owning a business. At Biz Filings, we make it easy, fast, and affordable. That's why more than 150,000 business owners have turned to Biz Filings for help. We form corporations and LLCs in all 50 states. Call or visit Biz Filings today for a free guide to incorporation. BizFilings.com. Protect your assets. Free yourself. And these are some new pictures of a Wayne Monroe there. He's an attorney who is representing Anna Nicole Smith's estate in the Bahamas. He's entering this hearing, which is uh, beginning this hour there. It concerns the baby, in this case, little Danny Land, who's about five months old or so. The hearing, we're told by the parties involved, could end up determining the future of that little baby and also clear up some issues about her inheritance. Some, though, the major legal issues are, are not decided, and they, they actually could take years to untangle untangle all of this. This hearing in the Bahamas is a little bit different than the one we've been watching in Florida for the past couple of days, because this one is closed, the files are sealed, and the attorneys have been gagged. Not the case in Fort Lauderdale, and uh, we'll go back to Fort Lauderdale when that hearing resumes over custody of Anna Nicole's body. That's set to start up again in about 15 minutes. Well, the bickering has gotten pretty harsh in the Democratic race for the White House. Uh, Bill Richardson is now joining Hillary Clinton in calling for Barack Obama to apologize for comments made by David Geffen, the Hollywood mogul and Obama supporter, blasted the Clintons. Molly Henneberg is live to uh, tell us how it's all hashing out. It's gotten hotter just the over 24-hour period, Molly. And it keeps going. Good. Hi, Jane. How are you? Senator Obama says he has no reason to apologize for David Geffen's critical remarks about Senator Hillary Clinton. Obama says Geffen may be raising and giving money to his presidential campaign, but he's not a staff member. Look, I, I can't be responsible for uh, the statements of every single uh, individual who contributes to our campaign. I mean, we've got thousands of people who are contributing, some who may have real differences with the other candidates. It doesn't reflect my views. Uh, they didn't come from uh, me or my staff. Geffen, the founder of DreamWorks Film Studios, spoke previously to a New York Times columnist about Hillary and Bill Clinton. One of his statements was, quote, Everybody in politics lies, but the Clintons do it with such ease, it's troubling. Geffen went on to say that the Clinton political machine in the 08 cycle is going to be, quote, very unpleasant and unattractive and effective. Hillary's camp picked up on Geffen's remarks, and an advisor called it a vicious attack and urged Senator Obama to return Geffen's $2,300 campaign contribution. And now another 08 Democratic candidate and former Secretary of Energy in the Clinton administration is chiming in. And no surprise, perhaps, he's taking Hillary's side. I believe that uh, it's best if uh, Senator Obama uh, apologized for the comment made by David Geffen about the Clinton administration. We don't want to have negative attacks on each other. But Senator Obama says David Geffen may have differences with the Clintons, but that really doesn't have anything to do with the Obama campaign.
Jane? Molly Henneberg for us in Washington. Molly, thank you. Well, from the battle over her body to the custody of her baby, the legal so saga surrounding Anna Nicole Smith, it is a... Uh, Getting a little bit crazy. We'll be live with these uh, two court cases today. One hearing in the Bahamas, the other in Fort Lauderdale. It's expected to resume in about 10 minutes or so. We're told that uh, the lawyers for her ex-boyfriend, Larry Burkhead, their own little time from the judge, so they should be up next. And we're told that they're going to be calling to the stand Ford Shelley, who is the son-in-law of a developer. He claims he owns the property in the Bahamas where uh, Anna Nicole was staying, where that baby is said to be right now. Why is that important? We'll explain it coming up. I'm thinking of a number between 450 and 850. Do you know what it is? It's my credit score, and it happens to be 720. The higher my credit score, the better chance I have of saving a lot of money. Do you know your credit score? Do you know what's in your credit report? You can find out right now at FreeCreditReport.com. You can even print it out if you want to. How much easier could it get? Log on to FreeCreditReport.com. That's FreeCreditReport.com. Free Credit Report offer applies with enrollment and triple advantage. Eight weeks premature, Emily wasn't ready to breathe. She wasn't ready to eat. She wasn't ready for the world. Luckily, the world was ready for her. America's hospitals provide hope every day, but the administration's proposed cuts threaten vital services that protect us all. Tell Congress, stop cuts to hospital care. You don't have to suffer. Premier Bathrooms brings freedom to your life. It's just peace of mind has been great. And now it's so lovely just to be able to go in. I want to go in. Premier Bathrooms custom bath and shower enclosures are easy to step into. Feature sturdy hand grips and safety bars, secure locking mechanisms, and comfortable seats. Every Premier Bathroom tub and shower is backed by an unconditional, no quibble guarantee on all parts and labor. It just is, it's very soothing and it's very relaxing and it, it really does get rid of muscle tension and, and uh, stress. We really liked it. Premier walk-in baths come complete with bath fittings and accessories to bring value and beauty to your home. Ease away tension and pain with Premier Bathrooms patented hydrotherapy jets. Premier Bathrooms has meant freedom and safety to thousands of customers across Europe and North America. Call 1-866-663-5353 for a free information kit. I'm a mother of three and a grandmother. My husband, he said I was hot. I haven't had this smoking hot body since I was in college. You can't miss the results of the new Nutrisystem Nourish, the easy weight loss program that lets you eat great and lose weight. I'm a 40-year-old mom, and I think I look better than ever. Call or go online now to order and start losing weight today. Plus, you'll be eligible to get two full weeks of Nutrisystem meals free. It's so simple. With Nutrisystem, if you can eat, you can lose weight. Our secret is the breakthrough science of the glycemic advantage that separates good carbs from bad. My husband loves my new body. In fact, he jokingly calls me his trophy wife. Nutrisystem delivers every meal to your door and shipping is free. I love it, I love it, I love it. For about $10 a day, you'll enjoy perfectly portioned, absolutely delicious meals. How can you argue with results like these? Order today and you'll be eligible to receive an extra 14 breakfasts, 14 lunches, 14 dinners, and 14 desserts. Two full weeks of food absolutely free. Call now. Just real quickly, wanted to show you some uh, new life pictures we're getting courtesy of WSVN there in Miami. These are from Miami Beach, this building on fire right next to the convention center, if you're familiar with the beach there. Uh, we're told that it's a vacant building. Don't know at this point if there are any injuries um, to anybody, if there happened to have been anybody inside or how this thing may have started. Crews have been on the scene for a little while now. Looks like they are making a bit of progress. We see uh, less flames and more smoke at this point. So as soon as we get more details out of Miami Beach, of course, we'll bring them straight to you. Well, Howard K. Stern and Anna Nicole Smith's mother are battling for Anna Nicole's remains, but the judge, well, he's been the one who's kind of the star, I guess you could say, of this thing, or maybe we could call him main character. Earlier today, he thought the court, he said, would benefit from his understanding of the case, and then, take a listen, he said this. Anna Nicole thinks of Marilyn Monroe, Camelot, Knights at a Round Table, one for all, all for one, but we know life doesn't work that way. We know people are not always considering our welfare. 
we know also that there's only a few people that one can depend upon in a lifetime. There's only a handful. Uh, well, it doesn't exactly answer the question before him of who should get custody of Smith's body. My guest, attorney uh, Larry Hayes, is with us. He specializes in family law. Larry, I'm having trouble finding the words to describe what this hearing has been like with this judge in charge. Can you help me? Uh, how, how do you, what's your take on it? You know, I can't find the words myself. He, uh, he gave us a long soliloquy this morning. Uh, it looked like from what he was doing, reading his notes, he must have stayed up all night writing it. Unfortunately, it seemed to be a long wind-up, but uh, lacked a pitch. There was no point to it. Yeah, are we getting any closer? You know, he talks so much about the urgency in this case and wanting to get her buried because her body is decomposing. Have you, have you seen any progress, at least through the morning, this morning session? I, I haven't seen any progress, just like everyone who's watching it hasn't. Uh, he seems to be picking up a little speed, but it's almost too late at this point. He's made such a such a, a comedy of errors out of this case, uh, which is, should be a simple case. Yeah, it's true. We're going to get to that in a second. I want to have you just listen to this one uh, portion of what he had to say this morning, because this stuck out in a lot of people's minds. He was talking about Howard K. Stern, whether he's a, a good guy, bad guy, and kind of weighing the options. Let's take a listen. <clears throat> then we have Stern. Uh, is he a bad guy? Or is he a fellow who has some form of a love for her? We, we don't know. It's a, it's, a, it's a fact that'll come out way beyond this hearing. But whatever relationship he had with her, he would be called maybe an enabler, because he, he lived, uh, your objection so noted. Hey, Larry, um, I guess it's his courtroom, he's allowed to do what he wants, but some people have been concerned watching him over the past couple of days that what he's doing is just setting this thing up for appeal. He is, he's, he's made numerous errors, probably more than we could go into. And